Hi, don't know why I'm doing this, but thought it'd be fun. So today, what we're really, oh, I mean, uh, uh, the evidence, oh, the evidence. Okay, so. Okay, so today I thought it'd be fun if we went through some of the stuff in my collection. I think I'm gonna do like certain separate videos about certain things in my collection. Like right now I'm doing the Spider-Man stuff because I, I have a lot of Spider-Man stuff and I just like Spider-Man and I like talking about my collection and I have never felt the warm embrace of another being. So let me hide all of this real fast. Uh, uh, why did I do this? Um, you go here. <sighs> Oh, oh God. Oh, everything's falling apart. Ah! Professional. Dude, I'm so good at stacking. Holy ah! This is so uneat. Why am I doing it like this? This is so bad. Ah, he's, uh, no one breathe over here. Ah, you go there. I don't care. You can't, can you see it? Ah, you can see it. Video's a nightmare. We're good. Nice. Okay. Jesus Christ. I need a nice swig of this refreshing rogue energy shim 10 at checkout for 10% off mm. oh it's so good i guess we should start with like the the cool thing like the, the, the coolest thing that i have uh well one of the coolest things so before everybody gets mad at me i didn't buy this brand new oh this microphone stay i didn't buy this brand new so i didn't put it in it in this condition okay so don't get don't get mad at me this is the coolest thing i have and this is what I was rocking for the longest time. This is the Spider-Man PS4 Pro, like the, 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 the themed console, not just the console that came with the game, which everybody saw around. Now, this, this right here, actually I can, I have an overhead cam. Duh. This is from, uh, so this console was bought from an HEB, which if you don't know is a Texas only like super grocery store. Like it's, it's borderline a cult. It is a cult. We're in a cult. So this was bought at an HEB, which makes it really funny to me. So I'm leaving that on there. I don't know what this was and I can get it off if I want to. I just don't care. So there, <laughs> cause I'm not going to sell this. This is my console. So I don't, I don't really care. I, I probably will. You know, now that I look at it, I might get some Gugan on this. Well, no, I don't want to get Gugan on this because it's going to ruin the box. I hate being a collector. Anyways, this is funny. It's like buying a PS4 Pro at a, <laughs> what do you Californians have? Um, Kroger, it's like Kroger, I guess, or Food Lion, I think. I've never been there. I'm just saying other chains of grocery store in hopes that you will relate to my cult. Okay, let's open it. Big thing with this is, first off, look at that cool Look at that cool bag. That's cool as Anyways, um, oh my God, you are wobbly up there. Holy Um, I hate PS4 and PS5 boxes. Um, maybe PS, I don't remember if PS3 did this, but they're packaged like a f McDonald's drink coaster. Like, you know, you get the generic white PS4 Pro box, but then when you open it, also, I know the sticks, they may not, they may not even show up. Yeah, they're a little yellowed. That's because two things. One, I used the shit out of this thing. And two, this has been sitting up on a shelf for a good chunk of maybe two years. So I just haven't taking care of it and I know I should so it's my bad but uh, look at this look look at look at this what the f like cool all right honey here's your sprite let me get out my dr. pepper real fast ah, eh, ah. all right there we go nothing else in here besides I took the cords out never mind <laughs> there's no cords in here it's just paperwork let me put the let me put the drink coaster back in the box. And it doesn't even close right. Oh my God, I hate it here. Okay, f you, get back in the box. This is so chaotic. This video sucks. I hate it. I'm ending it. I'm deleting the channel. This sucks. I hate, I hate it here. I hate it here. Anyways, this is the console. I really like the design of this console. I really like this. Um, fun little story I'll get into in a minute. Uh, but first off, I love this console. I love the way it looks. Uh, it, it is a kind of scuff, so I can probably fix that with some like whiteout since this is just like a pure white. Uh, decal like this isn't etched into the console this is just like layered on because you can feel the you can feel the bumps so this more more or less is like a i guess a sticker like a like a really 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 hard to get off sticker and then the whole thing is like red all the way through and i think it, i think it looks really nice you got the front like that I, th I think it looks really cool this was i don't know if you can see that but this i think this was opened no it was not it was partly open so someone tried to get into it and then decided not to which is good because I do have a story. Uh, at the game store that I f worked at for like six years and I still show up every now and then to help out. 
the tech, he's the best repairman I've ever seen. He knows anything and everything about electronics. Uh, he, he knows jack about games, but he can fix the shit out of a, any console. So someone came in with this model PS4, the Spider-Man one. And if you know anything about consoles, like PS4s and Xbox Ones and whatnot, they use um, two and a half inch, um, I think it's two and a half inch hard drives, like the laptop hard drives, the small one. They go right here in the back. So if you want to upgrade your hard drive, you pop it out, put the bigger one in, install the, uh, the operating system, and they have a bigger hard drive. I think this one has, I think the box said a terabyte, but I think I put a two terabyte in here. Someone came in and they said, hey, I tried to put in a hard drive and I can't get it to work. You know, I'm thinking, okay, maybe you just forgot to reinstall the software or you didn't put it in right. It's fine. We'll, we'll do it for you. So he gives me the console and on the back is this just big hole, this huge hole. And I was like, buddy, what in the goddamn happened? And he said, oh, I, I couldn't get it to fit. So I cut a hole. What do you mean you couldn't get it to fit? Homeboy had a desktop hard drive this big, cut a hole, shoved it in there. And he was like, I got it to work. I, I just can't get it to stay on. And I was like, you f I can't. So this nice special edition console just mangled just for a, the wrong heart just cut i can't like every time i see this now i think of that and i get all antsy and i, I hate it so please don't cut open your ps4s or ps5s or any just don't cut open a console please okay we're done with this moving on my god making videos is tough Thank God I have rogue energy to keep me going. Shem 10 at checkout for 10% off. I guess in line with that game. Oh God, oh, it hurts so good. Who said that? Here, we'll do this. Uh, can I reach it? Uh, uh. Biting me. This is the collector's edition for the first game, which I'm sure everyone ever has played at this point because uh, it's a great game. So uh, I've been wanting this forever since the game came out because I missed my chance. So my friend got it and then he sold it. And I was like, what the f so I've waited for years for this to get traded in in our store and it finally did. So I picked it up and good God, is it lame? Like, <laughs> like this is so, as you can see, like, look how small that is. I knew it was kind of disappointing. I didn't know how disappointing. Collect like collector's editions nowadays have all gotten kind of lame because they're all made very cheaply, but it, it's fine. Like they, they've, they've been on like a downward spiral for a while. So you open the box up, there's another box. It's got a cool little design on it, which is neat. I guess it's just a picture from the game. Logo, spider, all that. And then it opens up like a, like an iPhone. Got it. So I'll put this right here. So then it tells you, hey, be careful. There's uh, spoilers. This thing has a spoiler. Don't want, there's this. You got the cool little art book. Now, the art book I like. I think the art book is cool. I just like art books. This one is kind of tiny uh, compared to like the other art books that I have. Like the, I have a Kirby one up there and a Spyro one up there. But it's still, it's still neat. I love this. I love seeing the designs. I love seeing behind the scenes stuff. It's just super cool. Like, look at that. That's cool. That's a f ton of detail. You probably can't even see it. Yeah, they show like previous designs for Doc Ock. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this. You can look up the, the thing. But, but then we have a steel book. Also kind of lame. But it looks cool, I guess. Just red and red and white. Done. I mean, it's minimalistic. I get it, but it's also lame. But it does come with the game, and it does come with like this voucher. Or no, is this a sticker? It comes with a sticker. I didn't know that. And it's a full sticker. It's wait. You want to put a whole block of red on your car or your PC? <laughs> right here. This is the big old meat and potatoes of this boy. This, this statue. Look how tiny it is. That is super small. But. It's fine. I think it looks cool. I like I like how you can see all of the the games. You have like Scorpion, you have right here, you have right here. But there's also another Shocker. Shocker. There's right here. And then Doc Ock is in with Scorpion. Yeah, this looks sick. I like this. It is super cool. It's also, it feels cheap. Like there's a good weight to it, but it also feels kind of flimsy. Like just gonna kind of fall apart on it. So I've been very very careful with this. Uh, there is a lot of detail in Spider-Man, like the suit. Uh, you can see like the ridges of the the blue, and I, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's all it is. Nothing else. Spoilers, be careful. What the f What the f I've done blocks before. I know how shapes work. And then put the stuff back in the... God, I am on a roll today, dude. I am so smart. I guess what's next? I guess we can go like the pre-order bonuses that I got for the game. So I got I got this thing. I got that thing. <laughs> so it's just a, it's just a fig pin of um, Spider-Man. So... 
It looks pretty cool, I guess. I, I don't take these out. I don't display them. So yeah, it's fine, I guess. I don't really focus on it. Uh, I just keep it in there. And then at the same time, I got these Spider-Verse ones. I just thought they were funny. So we got Peter B. Oh God, we got Peter B and then Spider-Noir and whatnot. So yeah, they're, they're neat, I guess. I don't really, I don't really collect them. I just kind of got them because they were part of the you got, you got them free with buying the game at Target. So I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess since we're off of that, I can go to one of my, I guess my most personal favorite thing is uh, this guy. So this was given to me by my um, best friend ever, uh, Mel the Honeybee. She got this at the uh, theater, like when the first movie came out. So you can see right here on the bottom, it does say, which fucking lens is it? Which lens is it? Am I going the right way? It says 2002 right there, yeah. I think it was from the theater. I have to ask her. I think she said she got it from the theater. But uh, this is from the first movie and it's just, I've never seen this before. Uh, and then when I went to go visit her, she was like, I want you to have this. And I was like, ah. so then I took it home. And unfortunately, I don't know if I told her this, oops. It did break in the suitcase when I was flying back, which I opened it up and I was devastated because uh, I love this thing and it meant a lot to me. And then it just broke. So uh, I had to get creative and I used an epoxy to put them together. And this took so long to actually, do. yeah, it broke right there on the, on the uh, neck. So I think it, it looks pretty good. You can't really notice it unless you look at it, but uh, I love this thing so much. Uh, it means a lot to me. And I'm going to take absolute care of it for like more so than I was originally before it broke. So he's going to sit right here next to, actually, let's, 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 let's pop you out. There you go. Yeah, you go right there, bud. Put you right there. Okay. Before we get to the games, I want to get to the goofy stuff. Look at this. Look at these. Look how fucking bad these are. <laughs> so I saw these get traded in and I was like, bro, these are so bad. I need these. So these are, this one is a PS1, no, no, PS2 controller. This one is the PS1 controller, I think. Or PS2 and P oh no, no, so both of these are PS2. Okay. So these are god awful. Like these are so bad, but I love them because they're so, especially this one. This one has the dumbest shape I've ever seen. I love it. You have these like goofy little handles that you have to grab onto. They don't really like, they're not ergonomic. You have this little dick coming out. I, I don't know what. These sticks feel like And the X button is a spider. That's kind of cute, I, I guess. Um, let's see what else we got. So, oh my God, this feels so bad. The triggers though, like these single button triggers down here. Love it. I want, I want to do a, I want to, since a bunch of speedrunners are coming down uh, for my event in September, which by the way, you should go check out uscevent.com. Uh, I want to see if I can get them to do like a challenge, like try to speedrun Spyro or something with this controller or this controller. This one's a little bit more uh, closer to the PS2, but it still has the gross <laughs> triggers. Um, sticks feel okay, but everything is a lot bigger. Like the buttons are smaller, the shell is bigger. Um, actually, maybe this one might be better. This one maybe. I mean, they're both ass. They both suck. This one just has a JPEG of <laughs> Spider-Man, which is blue on the back. Same, same. Are they by the same company? This one's called the Spider Pad. I don't know if you can see that, but bro, the Spider Pad? Oh, Naki. Oh, these are both Naki. Oh, that's why they both feel awful. And they both have the same D-pad. And they both have the same buttons. Who would have thought? <laughs> okay, these are, yeah, these are bad. So, I love these. If you have any more, if anyone has any goofy spider-man controllers like this please send them to me i would love to do a video on them all right so here's some cool stuff i'm gonna kind of do a rapid fire i guess now i'll have to go through the games oh no i lied actually so i have these two um these are disney infinity i don't really care i don't i don't care i just got them because they're spider-man this one is exclusive to the vita version of disney infinity like you could only get the figure if you bought the vita version of the game because it came with the game so that's the only way to get it which is why this one's a little bit more uh, in terms of like market value than this one, uh, but it's also Disney Infinity, so like, who cares? So look at this nice little Persona 4 Vita that I got for my birthday. Oh my God, it's so sexy and clean. Oh my God. Anyways, <laughs> and then we got some I've made. This is what I do with my Game Boy games. So I don't like seeing incomplete cartridges on my shelf and boxes are expensive. So I made my own. So these are done with cassette tape cases. So I made the box art from scratch for all my games. So if you look at them like this, they're proportioned properly to fit cassette tape cases. And then if you look at the spine, it has all the games like that. 
And then if you look on the back, it has like the actual UPC, little logo for the game, and then the actual game inside. But in order to make it work, what I had to do is I had to break off this part. That way it would actually fit. So I just think, I just think that looks a lot better. Um, in terms of these games, um, never played these two. This one's great. I love this one. This one's like a Metroidvania beat-em-up type of thing. Uh, not really Metroidvania, but uh, it's just a 2D beat-em-up. Beat the sh beat the beat the sh beat 'em up. Beat the shit out of people and beat them up. Uh, no, this game's really fun. If you haven't played it, try it out. It's super cheap because it's a licensed game. Um, but I've noticed some licensed games are raising in price, especially Spider-Man because Spider-Man. Uh, but if you haven't played this, go ahead and try it. I really love it. Let me know what you think. Unless it's bad, then don't tell me. Cause fuck you. And then in the same vein, this is the Japanese version of the first Spider-Man game. Uh, I just thought this was cool. I like Japanese GameCube games, and I, I'm in a weird uh, thing where I want to collect Japanese versions of some American games, like Uncharted or Batman Arkham and stuff like that, just because I think it's kind of cool, uh, especially on GameCube, because they have these cute little boxes, and then when you open it up, it's just, like, bare bones, like, all this writing on the disc, and then proper Japanese um, care for your GameCube. Now, the, the cool thing that I thought about this is um, in America, this game was published by Activision because Activision had the rights for Spider-Man for so long. But in America, oh, I'm sorry, in Japan, Activision isn't <laughs> Activision isn't as well known or as a reputable brand in Japan. So they always get a co-publisher for their stuff. This one was co-published by Capcom. Like how the um, Crash Insane Trilogy in Japan was co-published by Sega, which is kind of cool. So we have an Activision Capcom Spider-Man game. Uh, as far as I know, it's the same, same game. I haven't tried it. I do want to play it on stream because I, I just think it's really interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, I love this. I want to get Spider-Man 2 and Ultimate Spider-Man as well because uh, I think those are the only other two GameCube games. So yeah, I do want to get that. Uh, speaking of old, these are cool. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is just Spider-Man. Uh, I've, I've had this for years. I just never had the box until like maybe a few years ago. Uh, it doesn't have the manual, but it is just Spider-Man on Genesis. Uh, I don't really remember much about this game. Yeah, it's just a goofy little 2D side-scroller. Like, there's nothing crazy about these, but um, it looks cool. I like the box art, very vintage. It looks very nice. And then we have Maximum Carnage, which I'm sure a lot of people remember. Uh, I think this is the one with the red cartridge. Yeah. Oh, and the booklet. I don't remember having this. I don't open my stuff a lot. So this has the red Genesis cartridge, which not like, I think this is the only one, the only Genesis cartridge that was another color. I think this is like, Another beat em up. Yeah, yeah, so you and Venom just go walking around New York beating the shit out of people until you get to Carnage and then you beat the shit out of Carnage. And then it has all this stuff. I, 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 don't, I haven't looked in this. I think this is also a birthday gift. Thank you, Jesse. Carnage Unleashed, get ready to paint the town red. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a comic book. Oh, it's so adorable. It just tells you about all the stages. Oh, this is like a little strategy guide. Is this a warranty? Who purchased this game? Who played this game the most? What the f Warranty registration. Why do you need to know that for the warranty? Acclaim's dream team. What's the dream team? Oh, is this a poster? Oh, it's just a bunch of Acclaim games. NBA Jam, Virtual Bar, Mortal Kombat, Rage Cage. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. I love shit like this, dude. I don't know why I never looked at this before. Probably because I'm gay. Anyways, yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, I think this one's the most expensive, so I should be careful with it. All right, oh, in the same vein, uh, quick one. I don't really know about, much about this. This is separation anxiety. I think it's another beat em up. I don't know, I don't have the box. Oh God, it hurts. This is kind of cool. This is the first Spider-Man movie on PSP, oh God, on PSP UMD. So it's just the movie on just a PSP disc. So like this is this is a big push. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, this is just a big push to make PSP like another media hub, like the PS2 and the PS3. So there's a bunch of, movies i think there's one for spider-man 2 so i, I kind of want to get that too and there's one for spider-man 3 as well i need to double check that but yeah i just thought this was cool are you ready for disappointment hey dad when did you get here uh th this guy just kind of sits on my shelf i don't really i'm not a huge figure guy i don't really like a lot of figures just because i think they they just take up space on a shelf and um they're really they're a lot more delicate than games so he just stays in the box but this is the one i had as a kid uh i lost it so i found another one in box but i love i uh, i have a lot of nostalgia for this guy um, I remember being in like a cart when I was really young and at Target and I'd had this guy and I'd pretend like he was swinging with me and shit. it was really cool. I don't think this is the exact same one though. I think this is a reprint. Uh, yeah, 2017. But um, yeah, it was, it, it was, it was, I think, I think it was the exact one. They, they reuse these shells all the time. So yeah. 
Uh, now, who's ready for disappointment? So this is cool. So this is Spider-Man 2, the game on a PC. Now, anyone who's seen a lot of my videos on the main channel, uh, you have known that I did a video on this years ago, like when I was still starting out on YouTube. I bought this on Amazon because it was cool and it was only like 20 bucks. So I was like, yeah, so this is the PC version of Spider-Man 2. Now you probably think, if you haven't seen the video, watch it after this, but you're probably thinking like, oh, Spider-Man 2, PS2, GameCube. Yeah, I love that game. On PC, that, that must be super cool. Yeah, you think, but it's not. This game sucks dick. This game is ass. This is not the same game. This is made by another company called Fizz Factor, and it is just the simplest point and click with the, it, it's bad. If you haven't seen my video, go watch it. Uh, it's kind of old, so, you know, quality is a little questionable. But it's a big box that says Spider-Man 2, the game, and that's cool. Now, what's in the box? I bet there's a lot of cool stuff. Ooh, ooh, we got some cardboard in there. Cool. All right. That's it. Obviously the game too, but I don't know where the game is, but this it was this and the game. And the game is a small jewel, jewel case, like a PS1 jewel case. So it's about yay big in that box. Pretty good, right? No, yeah, it was, uh, it, it was, it was very weird to get this in the mail and be like, whoa, this thing is huge. Why, 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 why is it so big? Never in my life heard that. It sucks, but it's cool. Oh, and this little guy, I guess. So this is just my little articulate Spider-Man that if you've seen, oh, if you've seen my recent streams, you've seen him on my microphone because I put him in different positions, but I'm taking him to ESA this, this summer and I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures of him just doing stupid shit. I just thought it'd be a fun little gag to do. So yeah, he's, he's gonna be going with me on the plane. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I guess. I don't really use Instagram, but follow me on something uh, if you wanna see what he does, so yeah. Now, on to the video games. But first, I need a refreshment from Rogue Energy, Shem 10 for 10% off. Um, where are we gonna start? I guess we'll start with the least interesting and go to the most interesting. So, why are you here? So, these are 3DS and DS. Oh my God, this microphone, I'm gonna call. 3DS and DS, um, this is kind of a mixed bag because I don't really collect for DS, I just got, a, got them because they were there. Uh, this is kind of funny. So, I don't have the game for this. Um, there's no game, it's just the box and the manual. But I got the box because it's a misprint. Uh, it's supposed to say DS right here, but this one, oh, 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 there you go. It's supposed to say DS right here, but this one is just, it's just blank. And it is real, like this is not a reprint. This is an actual copy. Uh, but in terms of the game, uh, Web of Shadows is one of my favorite games, like my favorite Spider-Man games, like top, top five, maybe top three actually. Uh, but the DS version is just like a side-scroller beat-em-up, kind of like the PSP version, uh, but a little bit more dumbed down. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on my main channel about high definition versus standard definition games, definitely watch it. Very insightful for people who always think that these are ports, because they'll look at the DS and go, how do they fit that game on the DS? And it's like, dude, it's not a port, it's a different version, this is made by a different team, it's by uh, Grip Tonight, I, that's what they call me in high school. But yeah, don't have the game, need the game so I can have it complete. I don't know what it goes for complete. I, I doubt a lot, but I'm sure it goes for a little bit more when it's uh, the misprint. So done with that. Uh, Spider-Man friend or foe, um, it, you know, it's the same game. Uh, I think it's, this isn't a port, but it's it's just a dumbed down version of the console game. It's the, you know, the four four player, pa 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 pa, it's lame. No, 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 I lied, it is two player, it's two player. Yeah, yeah, this, this is also two player. Yeah, it's just, it's just a, baby Spider-Man game, so it's pretty bad. Uh, this is pretty cool though. So this is a printed box art because I can't find the actual box art like anywhere. Um, and I don't like putting incomplete stuff on here. So also this is the first showcase of what I like to do with my collection. I like to theme my collection. So uh, in my Spider-Man games, whenever I can, I like to uh, put them in red cases because it's a th theme. I do that with my Sonic games. Sonic games are in blue cases. I just thought that was fun. No one else did that. So I was like, I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. This game was pretty all right. Uh, I, I think I liked it, it was all right. On um, the 3DS, I was impressed. So they got rid of the uh, open world portion of the game and it is just the inside levels where you're like doing stealth missions and beating them up, but it's the same port. Like it's not a different version. It's the same, it's the same port with the same combat mechanics and everything. I thought that was super cool. It just doesn't have the, the swing animation or not. The, no the open worldness. So that was cool. So, and then this one, uh, my old coworker decided to make box art for this since I can't find the actual box art. So, you know, another Spider-Man game, The Edge of Time. Yeah, so you can't even see that. 
Uh, but yeah, Edge of Time is more impressive to me because this is literally just the console version. Like this is not a dumb, this isn't a uh, version made by a different company. This isn't like someone trying to imitate the actual console game. This is, this is just Edge of Time but on the 3DS, and that's so cool. I love that, that is so cool. So if you haven't played this, it's really, really hard to find. Definitely try it, because it's just a, it's an interesting technical marvel, you know, hey, get it? Uh, but yeah, this is DS, no one cares, get out of here. And then we have PS3. As you can see, more red cases. So, Spider-Man 3, PS3, uh, this game sucks. Uh, this game is, I, this game is really bad. Um, as you can see, it is also printed, I guess. I don't remember not having this. I'll just get one later. But yeah, th this is printed, but I'll, I'll get a new one somewhere. Um, but this is made by Treyarch. So the same one that did Spider-Man 2. But uh, it sucks. It's bad. Um, it's in good condition. Yep, no scratches. So that's good because Blu-ray discs you can't resurface. But uh, man, I'm going off on a tangent on game collecting. Fuck. Yeah, I, I, I talk a lot when it comes to game collecting, which is good. It fills the void of no content. So, there are these games, right? So, yeah, uh, PS2, PSP. Um, this one's also printed. What the f I gotta fix these. So, this is the most recent pickup. I've been looking for this because it is rising in price. This was $40. Uh, case is fucked up, but I can just get a replacement case, so that, that's no big deal. But it is complete with the manual and everything. I, ooh, they're using the HD version, whatever. So, here's here's the thing. This game and these games are completely different. This is made by Treyarch. This is made by Vicarious Visions. Now, this isn't a port. I'm doing a little lesson that I did in my video, so I'm just gonna spoil it. Just something to keep in mind for these older games. So, these are not ports. This is a port of this. Oh no, this is a port of that, but these are not ports of this. This is made by Treyarch. This is made by Vicarious Visions. Completely different games. They play completely differently. They look different. They don't even have some of the same missions. Uh, these two have like their own missions that are exclusive to these and that aren't in this game. And the missions that are on here, like the lizard stuff, is on here, but it's completely different because they had to make their own assets, to make their own cutscenes, everything. Uh, so yeah, I just think that's super interesting when game when games in this generation did that, just to see like what they could do. Uh, but the all versions of this game suck. This one's better. And this one is just a cool technical uh, achievement because it is a fully open world web swinging Spider-Man game on the PSP. And that's cool. Other than that, it sucks. Oh, forgot about this. Check this out. This is one of my most expensive things in my collection. A complete N64 Spider-Man 64 game. So I didn't have an N64 growing up, but I just thought this was super cool. And uh, I love this game to death. So you open it up. Oh man. So you open it up, you break it, and then you have the manual, which I thought was super cool. I finally got my hands on this. These are extremely hard to find, and they have cool things like you've never seen. Like, I've never seen that, that drawing or that drawing, so that's cool. And then another red cartridge. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, it's in such good condition, too. God, I love it. Um, it's also, yeah, everything's falling apart. Everything is falling apart. Oh, my God, everything is falling apart. Why? It's fine. Just gonna, just gonna put that right there. Oh no, oh, all the cardboard is falling out. I don't care, it's my game. Gonna put that back in here. Yep. And I'm just gonna dump these cardboard shards in there. And then there we go, all done. We were on PS3. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do console, I'm gonna do game. So this one is now my favorite game ever. Not really, but it's up there. So as you see, I do have a problem. I like to collect every version of a game that I like, just because I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> And it fills my shelf, and I like having variety. So, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, uh, I love this game. Uh, the problem is that the game is getting expensive, like really expensive. And as you can see, I have every version <laughs> of the game. And, well, not yet, I still need the, um, still need the game for this one. Uh, but then I'll have every version of the game. So, I also need the box art for this, this is printed. So, uh, this is another one where the game is completely different on all consoles. So this, this, and this are the same game. These two are the same game, and this one is different. So these are made by Shaba, and this is ported by another company. This is made by uh, Amaze, and this is made by, yeah, a good old grip tonight. You know, that's what they call me in Bandcamp. So let's start with these three. So these three are the same game. This one's more impressive uh, because they ported these this game to the Wii. Like, it's just a straight up port. Uh, it does look like So, you know, there's that, um, but I played the PS3 version a lot, 
And this one was the hardest to find and the most expensive. And I did put it in a red case because obviously Spider-Man. Um, this is my original disc, so the disc is in great condition. Love it. But this game is so good. It's like if Devil May Cry was Sp a Spider-Man game all at the same time. So if you haven't played this game, it's really, really hard to find. Uh, there is a PC version if you want to borrow it from the internet. Um, but it is kind of weird. You do have to get some, some files to get it working. Um, but these two, great. Um, it's better to, on the 360 than it is PS3 because PS3 is always like a shit show to work with. 360 version is going to play a lot uh, smoother. And then the Wii version is just interesting. It looks like uh, a lot of animations are unfinished and a lot of effects on audio are gone for some reason. But it is just the game on the Wii. So if you can find this one, it is kind of the same thing, but it just looks like it. So I'd rather you play these. And then we have these guys. So I was upset as a kid because I was expecting the this game on the PS2 because on PS2, we got Spider-Man 2, which is also open world. But really these two games are 2.5D side-scrolling beat-em-ups, again, like the Game Boy Advance game of Spider-Man 1. It's a lot more lighthearted. This is a lot more dark and uh, kind of takes itself seriously. This is more goofy and lighthearted because it's Spider-Man. Um, so I played this, and this isn't a bad game. It's kind of jank because it's a 2D side-scrolling game, but it's got a lot of charm to it. It makes more sense to play it on PSP than it does PS2 because it's a, it's a beat-em-up on a PS2. That's kind of lame. I was expecting open world. And I got upset when I saw that the Wii was open world at the same time, uh, and the PS2 version was not. Hence why it's called the Amazing Allies Edition and not just Spider-Man Web of Shadows. That's how they would differentiate these versions. So you know that this is a completely different game than these ones. So that's how they got around that. Still sucked. Love this game. Please try it if you haven't. Maybe someday I'll feel the nice touch of a woman. Next up we have Spider-Man Edge of Time, which I guess you can consider this one, like this, but I almost have every version. I think that, yeah, there's also a Wii version that I'm missing. I think, am I missing? Hold on. I feel like I'm not. Okay, I didn't know that. So apparently I'm missing the Wii version and a complete 3DS copy and a DS version. So I'm missing uh, two copies and one of them is incomplete. So we won't talk about that one. This game's great. I love this game. Uh, it is really short. I did stream it a while ago, and I think I might stream it again just because it's super short and I really like it. This game is very linear, very short, very focused on story and voice acting, which for me as a voice actor, I love that. I love this game because of that. It was very voice acting heavy because of the writing, and I love that. This is a good inspiration for, for me. Um, but you just swap between 2099 and Amazing Spider-Man. They, um, they both have their own gameplay styles. But yeah, this... Like every other Spider-Man game, this game is getting really hard to find and it's getting expensive when you can find it. So I think the PS3 version is more expensive um, and the 360 version is a little bit cheaper. The Wii version is also a port, so uh, th that that's that. The only version that is different, that's by a different company, is the DS version for obvious reasons. The 3DS version is another port. So between the two, I guess it doesn't really matter. So if you can find either or, great. Pick up both just because you, you can say you have like I can uh, but I love this game so if you haven't played it please play it this is the one this is the one I'm sure everyone has played which is Shattered Dimensions Shattered Dimensions is also great uh, is this printed no it's real okay so this is real so all of these are real so I'm missing the DS version and I think that's it there is a physical PC version I think but though I don't know if I count those so, but this game is great. Uh, you swap between all four Spider-Man. They each have their own unique gameplay style. So hack and slash, uh, like God of War style, um, also kind of God of War style, stealth, and just raw power. Again, all of these are the same version because the Wii always got that for some reason, but these aren't open world. These are also linear. This is the first linear Spider-Man game in a while. So there's that, but really high quality. Uh, really love everything about these games. If you were to get one version, probably one of these two, this is just scaled down, but I guess it doesn't matter because this game isn't super demanding. It's very stylized, so the gra like the visual style looks great on the Wii, but it looks better on these. There was also a PC version on Steam, but it's delisted because uh, Activision lost the Marvel rights, which is why they can't sell any of these games anymore. Uh, so I have it on Steam before they took it down, so my Steam account is worth a lot of money now. So yeah, this game is great. Um, also, 
yeah, just all my discs are in great condition, which is fantastic. But yeah, this game is great. I love it. Uh, if you haven't played it, again, please try it. Now we're moving on to the next. And I'm not going in any order. I'm just grabbing. This game is probably one of the old videos I remember making the most on my uh, main channel. I remember making this video on my main channel the most, like most vividly. I don't remember a lot from back then. Um, but am I, is this shocking? What the f yes, I have, I think again, almost every version of this game. I need the DS version, which is another beat em up because obviously it's a DS. Uh, but I already talked about this one, so fuck off. So fun fact, this is the first game I pre-ordered. Uh, I've never pre-ordered a game, but this is the first one I pre-ordered. And it came with this cool 3D, 3D sleeve. I don't know if you can see it up there, um, but it is very 3D. If I do it this way, you can kind of see it. Um, but this is my original copy. Uh, I, the only thing I did was I changed the, the case to a red one, but it's my original copy. So is this, yep, this is all in great condition. It has the actual manual and it did have some pre-order bonus. I just don't remember what it was. Um, so yeah, I started with this one and then I got this copy, which is the same film, which I didn't know was on the 360. So I thought that was cool. So now I have two versions of this. Uh, this is the most recent pickup, I think. Um, no, no, this one is. So this was the DVD version or a 360 version, which is on DVD disc. So these are actually resurfaceable. So this guy's just basically brand new. Um, but yeah, that, that was cool. Eh. And then obviously the Wii version is the same thing where as the 3DS version, where it took away the open worldness and it's just the indoor missions. And that's it. Uh, there are a couple bosses that are out in the open, but they it runs like, that. but it's cool. It's cool that it's on the Wii. And then the Wii U version, which I just got because one, I actually kind of like the Wii U. Okay, I'm a big Wii U guy. And two reasons. One, I need every version of these 3D Spider-Man games. And I like Spider-Man on the Wii U. I think it's cool. I think it's interesting. Uh, plus, if you've never felt the side of a Wii U disc, bro, you're missing out. That is better than sex, I would assume, because I've never felt the warm embrace of another. So yeah, that's that's it. That's what makes Spider-Man. This game is very all right. I think it's okay. I like it. I, I, I definitely would play it again. It's got some charm. It is a little boring and a little samey, but I, I like it. I like it. So since I like you, you go right. Oh, no, it's fine. And then there's this one. <laughs> this game sucks. Like, this game is so f bad. Uh, not even like fun bad. I mean, there are some funny moments, but this this game is just genuinely really f boring. I am missing the 3DS and the DS version. I don't think there's a Wii version. And, oh, and the Xbox One version. I did have the Xbox One version at one point, uh, but I sold it a while ago because um, it was my most expensive game and it was going for a lot of money and I didn't have a job at that point. So I had to sell it and then I got like a hundred bucks for it or something like that. It, it, it was insane. I don't know how much it's going for now, but it was a lot of money. So all of these are the same. This is around the area where they uh, they stopped doing the different versions besides the portable ones, like the, the 3DS and the DS version. But I first played it on the PS3 and um, I was like, oh, I wish I could play it on the PS4 because it has better graphics. And I looked at the PS4 version and then I finally got it. And it's the same game. They look the exact same. There's literally no difference. Uh, it is the same game that looks like garbage. All the models look like they're made out of clay. Uh, the gameplay is bad, it's janky, the story sucks, it's hilariously bad, I fucking hate this game. That being said, it's really cool, because this is around the era where they were trying to do the blue label on PS4 and PS3, but that got really confusing, so they stopped doing it, so this is one of the first runs. There is another run where it's the, the black label, so this one is technically more rare, but who cares? It's Amazing Spider-Man 2, this game sucks. And then the Wii U version. I just think this is funny. This game is being on the Wii U is just really funny. And I think I might stream this on the Wii U um, just because I, I think it's funny. I, I, I love goofy sh like this. This is just really weird to me. I don't know why it's so weird to me. This is just weird to me. And then we got the one everyone loves. I love how out of order these are. But the one, <coughs> I'm dying. The one everybody ever has played. And as you can see, there's one little outlier, which is, we'll talk about that in a minute. But obviously you got these guys. This guy is amazing. Uh, I love this game still. Everybody loves this game still. It still holds up. Uh, web swinging is great. The, X, the Xbox version's 
really interesting because of how good of a graphic showcase it is. Like the whole game has like bloom and motion blur and it has like all these effects that we take for granted uh, that were just in the game in like what, 2004? Yeah. And then we have the GameCube version. Not a lot of people played this version, I think. Uh, a lot of people played like the PS2 version because it was like the most popular, uh, which is funny because it looked like that. Um, I do need to swap out my disc because this is a old, this is my old, old copy. I played the out of this game. As you can see, there is a uh, sticker right here in the center. And this is done to prevent uh, spindle cracks from getting bigger. So there is a small spindle crack around this side of the disc. Uh, but as you can see, it is, it is scratched to you. Um, which it's fine because this is a DVD. So resurfacing these is not a big deal. Um, resurfacing DVDs is super easy. And it's, it can look like brand new, but this is a Greatest Hits copy. I prefer Black Label. So this is a Black Label box with a Greatest Hits disc, which I'm not a fan of. GameCube games are like an enigma. So mine looks great. Mine, mine looks like in perfect condition, but even if it's scratched, you just never resurface them. Just don't. If, it's, if it reads, don't, it's fine. Never buff them, for the love of God, do not buff them. And then the Xbox version, I think I got, oh, it's Platinum Hits too, I didn't know that. Oh, hey. Well, that solves that problem. <laughs> Why do I have two copies? And they're both in, oh no, this one has a big crack. What the? F oh my God, this does too. Holy, f these discs are so fragile. So there's this crack right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there. So that's bad. And it's bleeding into the Xbox logo. That's not good. Uh, that means this, this disc is about to be uh, gone. Like just DOA. So this one's bad. This one is a little bit worse because there's more cracks. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's more cracks in the center. So that's not good. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's not good at all. Because essentially you, you put it in the disc or the resurfacing machine and as it spins like really, really, really fast, that crack gets bigger and bigger because of the velocity just doing that. If I did it to this one, this one definitely would shatter if I put it in a resurfacing machine. I don't need to because it looks great, but it's also probably gonna break in the Xbox. So I should probably replace that. But then <laughs> we have this one. So this one is interesting because this was a launch title for the PSP, which is why it has a different box art. But this is one of the ones where it has a different developer. This one was made by uh, Vicarious Visions, which you know was Activision's like go-to at this time. But this one, plays like the first game, like the first Spider-Man game that was on PS2. This plays exactly like that one. There's no open world. It has the cloud swing in. It has the one-two punch and the kick and everything. It plays the exact same. It's just Spider-Man 2. Now for this, my best friend, uh, one of my best friends, Vinny, a uh, big old Spyro guy, he visited my house years ago and he gave me just a box of cases. And this was one of them. And my goal has been to try to complete these. And this has been the hardest one to complete. The price is steadily going up and it's hard to find the game just loose. If you do find one, it's usually the movie, which I don't need. I need the game. But yeah, I, I like this. This is interesting. I love it. This game's great. Moving on. And then of course we have Spider-Man 1, the one I'd say a good chunk of people played, uh, as well as the, um, <laughs> of course, Japanese copy. If you haven't seen it, the speed runs for this game are kind of insane. But I also, I didn't understand, because like, obviously, Spider-Man was a big Sony property. And uh, for some reason, the Xbox has an entire exclusive level, like for Kraven the Hunter. Uh, I don't understand, but it is the one that looks the best, obviously, because it's on the Xbox. Um, this one looks the worst. This one is like kind of in the middle. Um, but this one is also in rough condition. This someone beat the out of this copy. So I might need to replace this copy with like a actually functioning one. That disc is also really fucked up. So yeah, this game is great. I like this one. If you haven't played it, play it. It's it's fun. And then look at the speed runs for this game. The speed runs for this game are really cool. Oh, I completely forgot. I, I this slept away. The Vita version of Amazing Spider-Man. I love this, dude. I love this shit. It's it's rare. It's really rare. Um, but I love this. The, I, this is the version I played the most was on the Vita just because it was interesting to have this. Th so this one was what impressed me the most. This is, uh, actually open world. Uh, and this version came in like a year or so later after the original games. 
Um, this was done by doesn't say. But this was actually impressive because this was the full open world game like the 360 and PS3 version, but on the Vita. That was awesome. So I, that's why I played a lot because I was interested by the tech. Uh, it does look like and sometimes it runs like but it's it's cool. Oh, my, fav my favorite Spider-Man game. Uh, Sly 3, Among Thieves. Why are you here? Oh, I can't remember. Did I already do Spider-Man 3? Spider-Man 3. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I did. Um... Where are the, where's the other? Dude, this is so, this is so, are you over here? Oh, yeah, okay, apparently I've already talked about these. I just found these, sorry. Yeah, I have the Wii version and the 360 version. I, I completely forgot. Oh, well, this is so chaotic. We got the fun one. So, kind of the underdog. This is Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, I think this was also on DS. I can't remember. But yeah, so there's two, so there's two copies of the PS2 version that I have, and then the GameCube and Xbox version. Obviously, the Xbox version is probably gonna look the best. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 this is one of the ones I haven't fully played. Like I, I have not beaten this game, ever, or gotten halfway through. I just know that it was a lot of fun, because this is the one where you can play as Venom and Spider-Man. Like you would flip flop between the two every now and then. I think a lot of people said they don't like it because there's a lot of fetch quests or there's a lot of go from. A to B, and that's it. I think I'll play it on stream just because I've never beaten it and I would like to experience it. So that'll be fun. So what I actually have here is these are the limited, this is the limited edition of the PS2 version. Now this is kind of incomplete. So the PS2 version, you know, it's, it's PS2. What this was, was this had a sleeve, like a holographic sleeve that went over the, the case. And the front part was Spider-Man, the back part was Venom. And it was, it was cool. And then on the inside, it came with this uh, little comic too. So it came with the comic uh, and the manual that specifies limited edition. So this is a specific manual for this specific version of the game, as well as the disc. The disc says limited edition too. So it came with this really small comic, uh, the same art style as the game uh, with Peter. What the? F what the? F oh my God! I, I don't like that. Uh, so I'm selling this tomorrow, actually. <laughs> no, but uh, all I'm missing is the sleeve for this. Uh, no, 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 there's a Game Boy version. There's a Game Boy Advance version of this I'm missing. Yeah, that's what I'm missing. Okay, there's that. And then to top me up, and then to top it all off, we have these two. So, you know, PS4 version and the PS5 version of Miles. Uh, I did have the PS4 version of Miles, but I traded it in for the PS5 when I got my PS5. But yeah, these games are great. Uh, I'm excited for Spider-Man 2. The collector's edition for Spider-Man 2 uh, is somehow more lame than the one for this one. So there's that. So I pre-ordered it already because I don't want to miss it this time. But yeah, it, I'm not impressed. So, yeah. So yeah, obviously I'm missing a fair chunk of stuff. Uh, but I am happy with what I have here. Uh, I think this is really cool. Hopefully you guys thought it was cool. Hopefully I didn't bore the shit out of you. I've been recording for like an hour and ten minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. If you want me to go through some more uh, stuff in my collection like this, uh, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Just let me know. Um, I could do some stuff for Sonic, some Spyro, uh, Crash even, or just consoles, just anything. Uh, I like doing game collecting videos. I might do more in the future, like just game collecting, collecting updates on this channel, just because it's a big passion of mine. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, follow me on Twitter for all kinds of updates and whatnot. Kiss me on the mouth. It, yep, that's it. Code Chemp10 at Rogue Energy and also uh, Chemp.Store. Okay, bye.